and this is Dryburg Abbey, burial site of Sir Walter Scott. The monument is closed, but you're welcome to explore the grounds in the shop. We'll see what we can see anyway. Don't understand that. <coughs> oh my goodness. Explore the grounds. Yeah, no, but you have to check in. Okay. Eleven to twelve. No, we're okay. Through the trees, and there's the abbey. In a loop of the River Tweed, the abbey was originally home of a peaceful religious community, but attacks from English armies left it in severe decline in the 1550s. The Pre Premon Statesen Order was founded by Sir St. Norbert in the French town of Premature in 1120, and its canons were known as Libertines. I uh, just rush across that's 1150, 1322 burned Buchan's romantic ruins and Scott's funeral was held in here and he's in this section number two of the abbey. Right away we go. So the abbey here is being surveyed for something or other, it's been, you know, safety and whatnot. And we can't get in to see uh, Sir Walter Scott's grave, but that's the way it goes. And this must have been some structure whenever it was on the go. And it's somewhere in here that Sir Walter Scott is, has been buried. We just can't get into it today. Ah, there we go. I just can't read that writing. Because I'm 30 yards away. But there's the, there he is. Tanya! And this is his grave in the hound. In the hound, the uh, the educational panel. Grave of Sir Walter Scott, author and poet and Scottish literary hero at Dryborough Abbey. Some fascinating graves round the abbey here, and we're not even in the oldest grave part of the graveyard. There's a there's a, a fabulous statue there. That's, that's a very detailed statue. Look at that. J. 
Jean Oliver, who died in Dreisburg, 1855, age 75, also their children. And Anne Sterling died 1836. She's only 14. Age 14. John, artist, died. So he did a, a sculpture of his relative. That's brilliant. And you, you just can't read this. It, ne it all needs cleaned up. But that is a brilliant, brilliant sculpture. Eighteen eighty. Died seventeen forty five. Returned home in sixteen eighty nine. Oh no, being exiled to Ireland for non conformity, returned home in sixteen eighty nine. It's not good. Memory of who were tenants in in Dry Grey Grange for Redpath Mills two hundred and fifty years. So they were kicked out and they and then they came back. The other side of that's engraved as well. Double sided grave. Ah, double sided grave. And we've got a cross of sacrifice here, which is a, a carbon copy. It says, Ah, there we are. This cross of sacrifice is identical with those that stand above the dead. Of Lord Hague's army in France, in France and Flanders. So there's a lot to see here, folks. A lot to see. This was a big abbey. And these are the, obviously all the bases of the stone columns. This was some undertaking. This was this was better than Grey Abbey over in Northern Ireland. And look at that architecture, you know, round the door. And that there is another viewpoint on Sir Walter Scott's grave. There it is.